All right, everyone, I got a few packages in. I think it's gonna start to slow, slow down a little bit after this. Um, it's coming into Christmas time, so I'm gonna need to start saving for actual presents for other people and not just spending on myself. So uh, I have pre-cut, oh, what is this? Oh, that's cool. So they did like a little little drawing for me. Um, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's all right, cool. It's a uh, the Savage Dragon two uh, one oh two. So this is actually it's either this or Tech Jacket are technically the first appearance of Invincible. So there's a preview to Invincible in the back of this issue, and it's in really good condition. Uh. I am very happy I got this. I wish I knew about it, obviously, before the cartoon was announced, but it is what it is. You pay what you pay for it. So um, I think I got it for 30 bucks. And Savage Dragon 102. That's pretty cool. Glad to have that. Um, this was packed. It had like three layers. So they did a really great job at packing these books. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Oh, okay. It's an Invincible run. Um, this is 124, 123, I think I actually own this one already, 122, 121, 120, 119, 118, 117 so this is uh, okay so when i was curious when they started the this title change of uh, the look of it um so 118 is when they started that so 117 and this was such a fun time in the book um oh, pretty much the whole whole book was pretty fun i love i love the whole series uh 116 and then 115 so that's a nice little run of books there. Uh, 115 to 124. And this isn't the same seller as the previous uh, Invincible lot that I had gotten. But with that said, bam. So this is another lot. This is from that original seller. So this is, uh, let me move this over. This is gonna be all out of order, I can tell. 71, 66, 68, this is a cool cover. 69, 67, If you guys could hear my dog click clacking around. 72. 70. These that was an interesting, uh, interesting villains. This is such a good book. Seriously, if you haven't if you haven't read Invincible yet, go out, get the trade paperbacks, the hardcovers. I prefer the ultimate editions. Uh, those are 12 issues in one hardcover. 74, 73, and 75. So we have 66 through 75. Let's see if we're missing some numbers. Um, I was missing some numbers in another, uh, he was selling me runs, but I didn't know he took out a couple of first appearances. Uh, Nesca, I think she's, was it 43 or 44 or 60 something? Or I can't remember. I think it's 44, um, but he didn't have 43 or 44 in there. Yeah, so 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. I like this too. This is cool. 73, 74, 
75. Yeah, I think it's um, once once you get to issue 75 and you've been the artist pretty much the entire time, I think I think Corey Walker did maybe 10 issues or something like that, maybe 12. I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but Otley pretty much did the series all the way up until the end. I think Corey Walker took over a couple of ep uh, issues, but it went back to Otley after that. Okay. Here is a bigger one. So this is, I appreciate the bubble wrap. So this is a more expensive book. So the more expensive the book, the better the wrapping should be, right? That's what I think. Easy wrapping too. I appreciate it. And this bubble wrap will be repurposed. <laughs> There's a lot of bubble wrap. Wow, it's still going. This guy must own crazy amounts of bubble wrap. That was so much bubble wrap. All right, so this is Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen, number three. This is the first appearance of Punchline. So I spent way more on this than I really should have, to be honest. It's like, I, I paid what the going rate is these days, but I really should have picked this book up when it came out or like a week or two after it came out. So. Uh, I just wasn't thinking. This It reminds me of the same thing that I did with uh, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was already a character in the, the, the cartoons, and she got into the comic books. I ended up picking up the Harley Quinn issue, um, which was her first appearance in DC continuity, but I did not grab Batman the Animated Series, um, which is technically her very first comic appearance. So... That one goes for way more than the DC one, so it kind of sucks. Um, so I didn't want to repeat the pattern, so I ended up grabbing it. Who knows if Punchline will be as popular as Harley in the future, but I wanted to make sure to secure it. Got to secure the bag, so. And this is the last one. Oh no, I got uh, one more after this. Uh, the last one is the one I'm most excited about. I I'm excited for all these books. I love comics. I'm just so into the hobby again. Um, what is this? Oh, I think this is a, I think this might be a, an extra. Let's see. So this is Batman 92. The punchline on the cover. Okay, so this is also Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen, number three. This is the alternate cover. So I won these auctions back to back. I initially got this one. This is a 9.6. Uh, I just, the guy had a, or best offer. I made him off, uh, we went back and forth a couple of times and we settled on a price. It was pretty reasonable considering what other au uh, auctions were selling it for. So I wasn't upset at the price I ended up paying. And, um, but this auction was up like a day or two later. And so I was watching it. And so let me, let me finish, let me finish opening these so you can see what else I got. So this is a 9.4 uh, alternate cover, variant cover. And 
And so the next one is Batman 89, which is a, um, her first cameo appearance. Let me make sure here. Yep, punchline in cameo. So this is a 9.8. So I will be holding on to this more than likely. So I'll be holding on to the uh, 9.6 CGC. And then, so these are CBCS, which is another company that does the certifying. They're like kind of like the lesser company of the two. That's how they're viewed as at as at least from what I understand. Um, and I and I can kind of see why, to be honest. And then, so the third one, it's a 9.0, Hell Arisen, number three. So these two, these two I'll probably let go. Um, the fact that I got a 9.6, it's the highest graded of uh, the three. So I'll probably hold on to this and uh, let these go, but I won them on such a good deal for all three. Um, I was like, okay, if I can win it for this much, I won't feel bad that I had just purchased this. And if anything, I can keep the pieces or piece that I want and resell the other ones. And so, you know, obviously I'll put these two up and they'll be the equivalent of what I paid for all three. And But I will hold on to the first cameo appearance. So I'll have both of her first appearances, cameo and full appearance. So... Uh, pretty happy with those. Okay, and the very last thing that I got to open is the one I'm excited the most about, and it also has the largest ability to be the biggest disappointment. <laughs> um, I love this artist so much, and for one, the envelope is way smaller than I, I thought it was going to be. Um, so this is a standard side comic book, obviously. And so let me see. Yeah, it's roughly around half of the size of a comic book. And I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be more of a um, ash can. And so this is very, very tiny. This is by Kenneth Rockefort. And so it's a mini comic book. And it looks to be half of the size of a... Oh, way less than half of the size of a comic book. So um, you can find this on his website. And so I'm, I'm interested to flip through it and it's a, a you know, a mini, a mini comic book. <laughs> Honestly, I paid way more, way too much now seeing the size of it, but I, I like rare things. So that's, that's the thing. I'm sure the art's going to be beautiful and, and everything. I think it's uh, 12 pages. It's not very long. And, um, you know, you get this mini print, but I like rare stuff. I'm going to start collecting uh, sketchbooks again, things of that nature. So I saw him post this and I was like, okay, let me grab it. Um, all right. Yeah. So that's it. And, uh, I'll flip through that maybe another time, maybe in private. I don't know. I, I don't want to screw these things up, especially <laughs> for how much I paid. I paid 35 bucks. I paid 35 bucks for this. Like it's wild. Um, so, you know, he's, he's really famous. He's a really amazing artist. So, you know, when you're selling your own wares and, you know, you're paying for the uh, print run or whatever, I guess you can charge that much, that much. So it is what it is. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, catchphrase.